Alright Atlanta, so this morning we did get the announcement of the Brave Souls 9th Anniversary and also 1000 Year Blood War campaign. Now, interestingly enough, I will say right from the get-go, they are calling this round 1. So that therefore means there's going to be a round 2. And last time we had a campaign with anniversary and thousand year blood war it was of course for the eighth anniversary and in that case we had two thousand year butter banners round one and round two so with caleb calling this round one that of course therefore means we are going to get a round two and does that mean our next banner maybe mid month of august is going to be thousand year blood war maybe we definitely could get a round two to this campaign without getting a new banner but that's something just worth mentioning Either way, though, this campaign is starting off with, of course, the new special anniversary Thousand Year Blood War Zenith summons a new Sergeant Tosha and Soifon. All three characters are insanely cool and fun to play. They will be releasing tomorrow, and we are going to talk about their banner later today. It's definitely a banner worth summoning on. I personally plan to do around 25 steps. After that, for the first 10 days of August, we are getting five free multis, and this is kind of special. Instead of just having premium and also seasonal characters, which is what we usually get for free multis, this one is for brave battle-specific characters, and finally, we're getting free multis that include Thousand Year Blood War characters. In this case, believe it or not, the character list is actually quite small, so there's actually a decent chance that you get something good, most importantly, of course, the Thousand Year Blood War Yamamoto. I will be honest, as cool as this is, and I would love to see them doing more of this, I actually really do like it. Most of the fill-up here is quite mediocre. I mean, most of these characters aren't really that relevant in Brave Battles. It's mainly the top five characters, to be fair. Which, then again, that's half the pool. But if you are a new account trying to get into Brave Battles, there's a pretty decent chance you get something good here, to be honest. At least enough to potentially make a team in Brave Battles. We are only getting five multis. One multi a day, with step five guaranteeing you a five-star character. Pretty cool stuff. Would love to see more of that. And lucky for us, we are getting more of that because in this case, we have five more free multis guaranteeing us another five-star on the final multi. In this case, characters for epic raids. And this pool of characters, I will be honest, is even better. Like, every character here has value. At worst, you're going to be getting a Lynx or Farmer, which isn't even that bad. Most of the characters here are limited. We only have two premium characters. And then again, special to this character selection, there are 3,000 Year Blood characters. The prize, of course, being Senjumaru. If you can get her from these three multis, that's going to be really good. I'm personally missing three characters from this banner, so I'm actually looking forward to this. These three multis in particular will start when the Bray Battle once ends on the 10th of august so overall we're getting 10 free multis combined and two guaranteed fire stars so i kind of prefer them doing something like this as opposed to what we normally get with the 10 free multis this is a really good selection and i think there's definitely a lot of people going to be walking away with something good from these free five multis Next up, we have the Brave Souls 9th Anniversary and 1000 Year Blood World login bonus. In this case, round one. It will be lasting 19 days, coincidentally ending right when we are going to be getting a mid-month banner. So that might mean mid-month is going to be 1000 Year Blood War. But in this case, if you log in during this time, you can get upwards to 75 spirit orbs, small technique scrolls, and other items. Scrolling down, we have, of course, the anniversary orders. In this case, round three and also four. Now, these are obviously special because what we are seeing here is that we are getting another choose a five star summon ticket, in this case, for a bunch of technique characters. Below that, we have round four, and in this case, it's giving us a speed five star summon ticket. At this point in time, including these two, we've gotten four attribute five star summon tickets, so we are going to get one more. I believe in this case, it's going to be a mind one, because I believe we've gotten power, heart, technique, speed now we're just waiting for a mind one but also keep in mind you also can get golden hammers here so more items to evolve your accessories to five star plus below that we have heart of wolf point event this is going to be a normal point event nothing too special with this one but if you are wondering all anniversary characters here are going to be bonuses including of course muget switch ago that was told to us at the end of june that he was going to be a bonus for multiple weeks in this case for this point event and also the next point event so if you pulled mugetsu you already have a plus three lottery bonus and if you pulled on part one again you probably also have max bonuses for this point event after that, though, we have the new 9th anniversary Sankamon Tower. Of course, Tier 1 already started, but Tier 2 is beginning tomorrow morning. The last tower is a lot of fun, so I will be live streaming this when we are live summoning for the new characters, and then we are going to be playing this. Going to be something fun to do. Also, of course, extra orbs to summon on part 2 of the anniversary. Reminder, though, that since Tier 2 is starting tomorrow, Tier 1 is ending. So if you haven't already done your 10 stages of Senkamon, I would recommend going ahead to do that now, because otherwise you are going to miss out on those orbs. After that, we have the paid packs. Buy them at your own will. This pack is going to cost you around 80 or so dollars. These are the standout characters. It is pick 5 characters. Get one of the 5 you did pick. Then we have the anniversary pack 2. This one's going to cost you around $25. With a 
40% chance to get any of these characters here. Then after that, we have another pack. In this case, the event support pack. This one more so guarantees you a bonus in the point event. Only a plus one bonus, but I will say if there's any pack to buy on Brain Cells, it is going to be this because this costs around 10 or so dollars. And if you can guarantee yourself a new character, it's one of these three randomly. They are resurrectable. So you're getting like 250 plus orbs for around 10 or so dollars. In terms of what other packs offer, this honestly does offer the best value, assuming you do get a new character. After that, of course, for the month of August, we are going to be having the Biakia Epic Raids, the Awakened one in this case. Of course, the new Part 2 Anniversary characters and also Mugetsu, the special character, right, are going to be three times damage characters offering 100% more Epic Raid medals. In addition to that, though, they did add a bunch of extra characters as bonuses. In this case, offering two times damage and 25% more medals. These are more newer, relevant characters. Chances are you might have some of these. So no one should be going without a bonus for this epic raid. And then, of course, as always, we have the usual epic raid bonuses when this epic raid was first available. If you want to use these old characters, by all means, go ahead. These ones in particular are giving 50% more medals, while these ones are giving 25% more medals. Starting on the first, we have our usual limit breaker quests. Now, in this case, just like the end of year, there are additional orders that go upwards to stage 26 usually it's 21 so there's five more stages of rewards to get here for the most part it is going to be more transcendence points but they also do specify that stage 19 onwards it is going to be tougher than usual so this one might be a bit difficult i will be honest and the rules themselves do want you to use slot one the brand new thousand year blood war soy Fun, slot two the new thousand year blood war toshiro and then slot three best in slot is going to be the new thousand year blood war knife anniversary Grammy. If you have all three of those characters, you're going to absolutely dominate through this quest. It's going to be a lot of fun, a really cool team. But since this is anniversary, you are getting more rewards. How many more rewards? We'll have to find out when the event does drop. But overall, it's going to be more transcendence points. After that, we have another set of nightmare difficult guild quests. So if you can beat these overall more orbs, right? Now, in this case, for this particular week, it is going to be merely human guild quests and also range no affiliation guild quests. So relatively easy guild quest weeks, I will be honest. Of course, if you do pull torture and also sword fun they are going to excel in this particular quest that's where they are designed for but i think most people that have been playing this game should already have good enough teams to beat this keep in mind the hp is not going to be the same as the nightmare quest that we got last week for part one of the anniversary of compatch and grammy this is going to be a usual nightmare guild quest in fact, from the data mines that we have right now, it's actually going to be easier since the defense stats are a lot lower. So most people should be able to get the 150 orbs from this week of guild quests. Then below that, we have Rookie Special Training. Good place to get EXP if you are a new player. Droplet Shrouds and Enriched Droplet Zone are getting a 2 times drop rate. And then we have our usual Power Up Festival, which is extra droplets, crystals, jewels, etc. And that's basically the 9th anniversary and 1000 year Blood War campaign round 1 in a nutshell. Overall, some really cool stuff coming away. Very excited, of course, for the free summons. I'm also looking forward to the 9th anniversary campaign in the morning. Love the choose a 5-star summon tickets. Overall, this anniversary has been absolutely amazing. Really cool stuff, fun events, a lot of freebies, and this is only round one. We're getting another round, probably in the middle of August, so I'm looking forward to that too. Either way, though, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and peace.